What's up, team? And Seam of the Sense, our Eang here for another episode of Stronger in Five Minutes, where I'm going to get you great information within a five minute period. And we're going to start the timer right now. We're going to kill this one. Now, in life, we're always trying to do things faster. Just like the premise of Stronger in Five Minutes, I'm getting you this information in five minutes. We want to work faster. We want to work out faster. We want to have sex faster. Do we? Yeah, we do. That's what we want to do. Now, what I want to talk to you in this video is going to be something that you can do to save time in your workouts. Pretty much, if you do this, you can cut your workout time in half while potentially still getting the same training volume. Now, this technique is super simple, and it's something called the antagonistic superset, or the antagonist superset. I'm not sure. It's one of the two. Google it. But the whole premise of this idea and this superset is doing opposite muscle groups in tandem. So instead of doing one movement, resting 60 seconds, doing the movement again, resting another 60 seconds, doing the movement again, you're instead going to do, for example, this, a pec deck, right? Typically, you'll have cats and they'll sit on the pec deck, they'll do their eight reps, oh, hee, hoo, right? And they'll sit here, they'll pull out their phone, they'll be on social media for a minute and then they'll do their next set. Well, instead of being like that guy, do your pec deck and then move to a back movement. You see that's a push, this is a pull. The cool thing about antagonistic supersets is that because this is a push and a pull and there's not a lot of overlapping muscle groups being worked, I can make progression on this back movement, right? To do my eight reps, I think I'm on seven, eight. And then instead of resting, I can go back, right back to the pec deck and do my next set because I was pretty much getting my chest was resting as I was doing that movement. So now I'm back here, baby, doing my second set of pec deck flies, right? And I can move right back there. Now you see, since I'm not taking 60 seconds rest in between each movement, I can bump each out, I can get two workouts done, and then I can move on to my next antagonistic superset. This one's gonna be a quad dominant movement, being the knees over toes goblet squat and dumbbell RDL. So let's see how this bitch is done, boom. Let's bump these out. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just say I did eight, okay? Now, instead of resting a 60 seconds, 80 seconds going on my phone, I come right here to my dumbbell RDLs and I do my RDLs. You know what? You guys gotta get a taste of these hamstrings. So, I do my RDLs. Whew. Two, three, four, five. Let's say I did it, okay? back to the dumbbell goblet squat. You can do these back and forth. Now, this is great because number one, it saves you time in the gym. If you do antagonistic supersets for a majority of your workout, you'll be able to save pretty much, you can cut your workout in half. But, and also actually, you're gonna be able to increase your cardiovascular capacity since you're moving and you're not staying still. And then what that does help with potentially is recovery from workout to workout. If you can increase your cardiovascular capacity, you're gonna be able to recover better from workout to workout meaning your, your fitness is actually going to increase. Let me tell you this though, there are some drawbacks. Listen, rest periods still have their place. Rest periods are still important. An individual that's doing this might have to work with slightly lower volumes than an individual that's doing their RDL and resting for 60 seconds. This person might be able to move more weight over time of the workout. Not that much more, but a little bit more. So where does this leave you? You need to figure out what is your priority. Are you trying to get a great workout in the gym, save time, potentially increase your cardiovascular capacity? If you wanna do that, and you wanna get out of the gym in 45 to 60 minutes, 45 minutes, <laughs> then do the antagonistic supersets. Go do a push-pull, push-pull, put those movements together. Do a quad and hamstring, quad and hamstring, put those movements together. But if you're a person that's really, really focused on moving the most training volume possible, you're not too worried about getting out of the gym super quickly. You're not too worried about, you know, taking time to rest and you want your heart rate to come down. Then don't do antagonistic supersets. Antagonistic supersets. Don't do those. But I love doing these because to be perfectly honest, I don't have that much of a difference between my overall training volume doing these supersets than doing movements alone. So keep this in mind. And if you have questions for me about these supersets, comment down below because I will be here to respond to you. I'm pretty sure this was done under five minutes. We are so good at this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Nsima Iyang from the Super Training Gym and Mark Bell's Power Project and BrickOfTheBar.com and all that good stuff. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. I will catch y'all later. Huh.
Ah, uh, let's stop the video. Stop the video.